From Television City in Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program. With Jack's special guest, Dick Van Dyke. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. Now, instead of going into my usual monologue with a lot of jokes, I'm going to bring out my guest star immediately. I want to because he is the fastest rising young comedian that we have in show business today. He has his own show every Wednesday night on this network. And here he is, Dick Van Dyke. I'm, I'm delighted that you're a guest on my show. Well, thank you, Jack. And uh, I want to tell you that I watch your show every Wednesday night. I think it's just great. Oh, well, that's very flattering for you to say that. But, Jack, I have to, uh, I have to thank the wonderful people also that work with me. Rose Marie and Maury Amsterdam, Richard Deegan, as great comedians that they are. And Mary Tyler Moore, of course, the girl who plays my wife in such a vivacious fashion. And of course, Carl Reiner, the genius who writes all those great, great scripts that we've done, of course. John Rich, our original director. Danny Thomas, who had faith in me from the very beginning. And of course, uh, Sheldon Leonard. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, I only gave you a compliment, not an Academy Award. <laughs> Yeah. Now, I'll tell you why I brought you out so early. I know that you have a, a wonderful number that you're prepared to do. I hope you so. See. Yeah, I know it, it's great. <laughs> and they'll be as anxious to see it. So I want you to do it right away. Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh, Jack, I'm sorry. Could you help me out in this number? Help you out what? Well, there's a place in the number where I take off my hat and say, Howdy. Mm -hmm. Could you uh, give me back a howdy? A howdy? Yeah. Is that what you want? Yeah. <laughs> Try. <laughs> you know, I didn't rehearse it, but I, I guess I can ad lib it all right. Uh, <laughs> Maestro. Free and easy, that's my style. How do you do me? Watch me smile. Fare thee well, me after a while. Cause I got a roll. And any place I hang my head is home. Sweeten and water, cherry wine. Thank you kindly, suit me fine. Kansas City, Caroline, that's my honeycomb. And in the place I hang my hat is home. Birds roosting in the trees pick up and go, and they're going through. That's how it's got to be, I pick up too. When the spirit moves me, yeah, 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 yeah. Up a lazy river, round the bend. Howdy, howdy, stranger, so long, friend. There's a voice in the lonesome wind keeps a whispering. I got you. I'm on with where the welcome mat is, no matter where that is, and in me. Place I hang my head is Shooby Dooby is my home sweet home. Any place I hang my head is home. Ah, e, ooh, ah.
I'm going where the welcome mat is, no matter where that is. Okay, Jack, this is it. Any place I hang, my hat is Gee, I'm versatile. I'm a concert violinist and a hat rack. Hey, Dick, come on back here. Come on back. Dick, you were just great. Well, thank you very much for saying that, Jack. I, uh, I have a confession to make. What's that? Well, Jack, before I came on the show, an awful lot of people told me that when you have a guest star and you pay him a top fee, that you really get your money's worth. They say that about me? <laughs> yeah, they, they said that you'd just work them half to death, Jack. But they say, yeah. But, folks, I would like to say that that is not so. Jack, it's just been wonderful. You've been a peach to work with. And before I go, I want to thank you for having me on the show, Jack. <laughs> well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come here. Um, you see, you're not through. We have a sketch to do now, a play, a play. Uh, uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm in a sketch? Yes, yes, I, and honest, it's, it, you have very little to do. They can hardly amounts to anything in this sketch. And I, I'll tell you how little it is. You can learn it while I do the commercial. There's nothing, I forgot to tell you about before. But you really can learn it even before. Okay. So just learn it while I, we do the commercial. All right, Jack. Okay, don't, don't forget about this thing. Gentlemen, for our sketch, our play, a baffling murder mystery that takes place at the turn of the century in London, England, entitled The Murder of Clayton Worthington, or he was facing east when he was stabbed in the West End. <laughs> Good heavens! It's Uncle Clayton! And he's been shot and stabbed. Oh, what ghastly knife wounds! Ugh. Come in. <laughs> oh, Inspector, how fortunate you're here. I happen to be strolling by with my colleague, Judson, and we heard some gunshots. Oh, yes, yes, over here, it's, it's a Uncle Clayton. Hmm. He was not only shot, he was stabbed five times. Twice in the abdomen, once in the neck, once in the heart, and once in the lungs. Oh, that's awful. On the contrary, if he were a dartboard, the murderer would have had 70 points. <laughs> It's a shame he left without knowing. Well, time. You say this is your uncle. Oh, yes, I'm his nephew, Reginald. Well, Reginald, is there anyone else in this house? Well, let's see. There's, there's my aunt, there's the butler, and there's the upstairs maid. Would you round them up, please? I should like to have a chat with each one of them. Very good. Better look for fingerprints. Judson, I wonder what happened to Judson. He was following me here. Judson! Judson, where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are, Inspector. I've, I've been looking for you. 
I'm glad you got here. We really have a very difficult case. Look. Oh, do you mind if I have a look? You. Mm -hmm. I say, I say, 120 points. <laughs> 120 points? Say, he did get the edge of the liver, didn't he? <laughs> de definitely in the yellow. <laughs> Just, young Reginald has gathered everybody in the library. Will you please send in the butler? Right, uh, Inspector. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look for clues. Hmm. Matches, paper clips, rubber bands, an unused stamp. <laughs> you wish to see me, sir? <laughs> yes, look. Oh, good heavens, it's the master. Why, he's been stabbed and, and shot five. He's been shot and stabbed five times. <laughs> Tell me, did he have any enemies? Well, sir, I doubt this was done by a friend. <laughs> I guess so. Where were you at the time of the murder? I was upstairs feeding the parrot. <coughs> All right, you're excused. Send in the maid. <laughs> You, uh, you want to see the maid? Yes. <laughs> You're a hard man, Inspector. <laughs> this is a baffling case. Hmm. said you wish to see me on Fifi, the French maid. <laughs> Fifi, how long have you been the maid? A very short time. <laughs> All right, look. Sacre bleu, it is the master. Yes, it's the master, and he was murdered. Oh, it serves him right. What? He promised me I'd pay. She'd give me nothing. <laughs> ah, then the relationship between you and your employer was strained. Oui, 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 there was no reason for Mrs. Weddington to be jealous of me. Worthington was jealous of you, eh? You're excused. <laughs> so there was something going on between the maid and her employer. That she is kind of cute. <laughs> Judson, send in Mrs. Worthington. Uh, whom did you say? Mrs. Worthington. Uh. <laughs> I think she can solve this case, although I hate to question her in her hour of grief. <laughs> Worthington. Take a look. Oh, well, it's my husband. Yes, you <laughs> Wait a minute. He's dead. Oh, oh, I thought he was drunk. <laughs> it's been a terrible week. First the parrot died, and now him. Wait a minute. What did you say? I said last week the parrot died, and now this. Oh, 
So the parrot died last week, eh? Yes. You're excused. I'm exhausted. <laughs> There's a rest. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not drunk, I tell you. <laughs> Judson, send in the butler. <coughs> Everything points to him. <laughs> See me again, sir. You are not neat, Judson. <laughs> Judson, you told me, you told me you were upstairs at the at the time of the murder. This? You told me you were upstairs. <laughs> you told me you were upstairs feeding the parrot. That is correct, sir. I happen to know that bird has been dead for a week. Oh, thank heaven, sir. When he stopped talking, I thought he was angry with me. <laughs> I suspect you, but it's never the butler. You may go. Thank you. Send in the maid. <laughs> Again the maid? <laughs> Again the maid. <laughs> This is getting complicated. Mrs. Worthington was jealous of the maid. Yet, the butler lied about the parrot. And someone stole a stamp. That was me. You wish to see me again, monsieur? Tell me, Fifi, did the butler dislike Mr. Worthington? Oh, no, sir, I do not think so, because Mrs. Mr. Worthington named him in his will. Aha! Send back the butler! <laughs> I had a toe. This case gets stickier every minute. But I know I could get to the bottom of this if I, I could bring all the suspects in the room at once. <laughs> you call, sir? Uh, yes. Is it true that you're named in Mr. Worthington's will? Well, I was until yesterday when Mrs. Worthington had the will changed. Oh, she had the will changed, eh? You may go. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> never around. Never does a thing. Judson, come in here. Judson! <laughs> I'm here. I'm here, Spectre. What do you want? <laughs> Call the maid. I say, uh, couldn't you have had the butler do that? I go and get the maid. He's always complaining. That Judson, I'd fire him in a minute. But he's got an eye like an eagle. Hey, it is definitely in the yellow. <laughs> Justin, hurry and send in the maid. <laughs> Fifi. Go out and shave off that mustache and come back in. I'm not going to come back as anything. Dick! Dick, you're ruining the sketch. I don't care about that. I, I should have listened to all the people who told me that you'd squeeze every last drop of blood out of me. Dick, please! No, I, I, I'm not going to kill myself because you're too cheap to hire actors. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now he's ruined the whole play. Oh, stagehands, come on out here. We might as well get the corpse out of here now. <laughs> Back with his guest star, Dick Van Dyke, in just a moment. Well, that's the show. That's the show, ladies and gentlemen. And, Dick, I want to apologize to you for making you do those five parts. Six parts. No, five. In the commercial, I was also the Arab. <laughs> you were not. That was Benny Rubin. <laughs> Jack, I understand that uh, on February 27th, you're going to New York and open at the Zegfield Theater. That's right. I'm going to do uh, my own review at the uh, Zegfield Theater with Jane Morgan. And, oh, I have a real good comedy show, a lot of laughs and songs and everything. We're going to be in Toronto. The two weeks ahead of that, you oh, know? Gosh, that and then we go to great. New York. I'd like to see that. You would? Yeah. Well, here. Wonderful. Here, here. I'll give you a, a pass here. You can bring in about six people. <laughs> oh, like thanks, that. Jack. You don't have to. Uh, wait a minute, Jack. That's only good for one person there. I know. Bring in the butler and the maid and Judson <laughs> and Reginald and Mrs. Worthy. <laughs> Good night, folks. I'll see you next week for Jell-O. The Jack Benny program has been brought to you by the Careful Drivers, Careful Buyers Car Insurance Company, State Farm Insurance. This is Don Wilson saying good night. This program was pre-recorded.